concerning my loved ones. Yes, God gives me verses concerning you as well, probably mostly to comfort me. I obviously don't push you, but I pray for you. I trust you see what I'm up to by now. Mm Mm-hmm. Rapture, rapture, rapture. God wanted me to warn you. He is pursuing you. Lord, please, I ask, spare my father and my mother and my brothers and my sisters with all who belong to them and deliver their lives from death. Joshua 2.13 I ask him that you would have time to call out to him. I pray that you would come to know him as the truth. One day, after I wrote down a prayer list of names of unsaved loved ones, asking that not one would be missing in heaven by the end, he sent me to Psalm 138.8. The Lord will accomplish what concerns you, for your loving kindness, O Lord, is everlasting. I cried, Wow! Amen! See how he loves? Oh, how he loves us so! He also promised from Isaiah 54 two, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Spare not. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your pegs. Amen. This was to show me to prepare and make space for you, to make more room in my tent. I take it as a promise of you coming to him. Oh, amen. And from Isaiah 44, 1 through 8. Now listen, O Jacob, my servant. Jacob was a twin. I am a twin, so he has my attention. And Israel, whom I have chosen. He was given the name Israel after getting his hip displaced wrestling with God. My hip displaces because of EDS, so he has my attention. Wow. Thus says the Lord, who made you and formed you from the womb, who will keep you. Do not fear, O Jacob, my servant, a dear and upright people whom I have chosen. For I will pour out water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my blessing on your descendants. They will spring up among the grass like trees by streams of water. Oh, yes, please, Lord. This one will say, I am the Lord's, and another will write on his hand, belonging to the Lord, and will name Israel's name with honor. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. There is no God besides me. Who is like me? Let him proclaim and declare it. Yes, let him recount it to me in order from the time that I established the ancient nation. And let them declare to them the things that are coming and the events that are going to take place. Do not tremble and do not be afraid. Have I not long since announced it to you and declared it? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? Or is there any other rock? I know of none. You alone, Lord. I trust in you alone. I know what you have promised to me will be done. I will recount to you in order the list of names I have made, and I declare to them the things that are coming. I am your maidservant, your loving daughter, your witness. Thank you for wrestling with me and choosing me. There is none beside you. You are the solid rock in which I stand. Thank you for the work you are currently doing, and thank you ahead of time for bringing my loved ones to yourself. Amen.